We're going to look at how to import a screen grab of a PDF into Purple Mash and edit it. In Tools, I'm going to click on To Publish. Here we've got two templates, Full Picture Landscape and Full Picture Portrait. We're going to access Full Picture Landscape. Now this is up, I'm going to load up my PDF. I'm going to use a simple tool in Windows called Snip and Sketch. I can find this in my Windows programs. Once it's loaded, I'm going to click on Snip and select the PDF. I'm going to save that as an image on my computer. I'm going to go back into Purple Mash and click on the green arrow to the top right of the image box. From my PC, I'm going to collect the image I saved. When I click Choose, that image will go into the image box. I'm going to jump quickly into the portrait version now and you'll see it's the same. Both templates have Add a Page and Remove Page buttons at the top. Back into our landscape version now with our PDF showing, you'll see under Things to Add there's a sound button. You can use this to record your own sound. You could add instructions here. Have a go at these questions. You can click on and move this Things to Add box if you need to. When you click on the image, the drawing tools will appear on the left. If the Things to Add box disappears, click in the grey space and it will reappear. You might also like to drag text boxes into the right places to help the children. Resize them to line them up correctly. And then the children will just be able to click straight in the boxes and type. Once you've set your template up, go to the menu and click on Share. Save the template into your work area. And then click on Set to Do. Fill in the title and the description. Add in any other details and then go through the process of setting it for your children. Once the to-do has been set, it will sit within your to-dos area you can access from the top of Purple Mash. I'm going to go into Admin and Impersonate a Pupil and we'll see how they can edit it. In their to-dos, they'll see the task and can click on Start. In here, they'll see the worksheet you've set up, and if they click on it, the drawing tools will appear on the left. They can select a colour they'd like to draw in, change the pen size, and then start to answer the questions. They can draw directly on top of the image. They can also add a text box and type answers in. Of course, if you added the text boxes, they would just need to click to type. Under Things to Add, they can also add a sound box. They can click on the plus to record their sounds, perhaps an explanation of their answer. If they want to delete an element they've added, they can simply click on it and then click on the bin to the bottom right. Once they're happy with the work they've done, they can exit and save. They can then hand in their work. Back in the teacher's side, you'll see a view folder button within the to-do. Click on that, select the work and then click on mark to see and mark the work the pupils have done. 